chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission has called for more global information sharing to prevent another accident like the one that occurred at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Kids, if you sit still, I'll tell you all about her. Gregory Yatsko made the remarks at a news conference in Tokyo a day after visiting the plant for the first time since the March accident. He said the, inter the international community is paying attention to how Japan shares information on the accident. He couldn't talk to nobody. All he could say is, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's like a hillbilly from the radio. Yatsuko said Japan's government made the right decision in declaring last week that the Fukushima Daiichi's reactors have been brought to a state of cold shutdown. Remarkable. He said temperatures inside its reactors are low enough that there's not enough energy left to discharge radioactive material. One last thing. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says a large quantity of contaminated water was found in a tunnel below a building that stores highly radioactive water. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, is investigating how about 230 tons of water got into the tunnel. Then he ducked around the water and the kid got mad. TEPCO says a worker found the water on Sunday. The water reportedly was about 50 centimeters to 3 meters deep throughout the 54 meter long tunnel. The utility says the level of radiation at the surface of the water is 3 millisieverts per hour. That's just a fraction of the level of the highly radioactive water stored in the waste processing facility above. TEPCO speculates that radioactive water from the processing facility may have been diluted by groundwater after it flowed into the tunnel. The utility says the tunnel is not connected to the sea. The discovery raises questions about TEPCO's inspection and management capabilities because the firm failed to notice the water in the tunnel after the waste processing facility was completed in April. I guess me rockable. Oh, it was, it was big old the Japanese government will pay to decontaminate more than 100 municipalities in eastern Japan, but the plan is causing concerns in the communities. Over there is a big old runoff with a toothpick on his nose. <laughs> The Environment Ministry says it will clean up to 102 municipalities in eight prefectures with radiation levels above one millisievert per year. In Oshu City, Iwate Prefecture, cattle farmers say they are worried that consumers will avoid all beef produced from those designated areas. Over there, there were some billy goats and they had handlebars on their head. Aizu Wakamatsu City in Fukushima Prefecture is concerned that its tourism industry will be hurt if it's labeled as a contaminated area. Over there, it was a big old crocodile, and when he opened his mouth, he didn't have any face. On the other hand, the residents in areas of the city with less than one millisievert per year say it's unfair that they cannot receive funds for decontamination work. Remarkable. Name something that can kill. Fukushima Ken, Minami Soma Shi, Tokyo Denryoku, Fukushima Daiichi Genshi Ryoku Hatsuden Sho Kara. およそ
be my uncle. Shut up! Try to do poison me? No, but he is. Oh, so you're poisoning people, huh? Now, give me a lemonade. Hey, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. No, why not? Let them have it. Right. <laughs> now do I get my money back? But my dear man, I I'm a taxpayer and I demand my right. Yes, sir. He's a taxpayer and demands his rights. Now come on, give him his money. Help! 